What's going on, everybody? So before I get started, I'm going to wait for some people to tune in. You know, it takes uh, Facebook a while to send out those notifications. But um, I'm about to go off on some people because I'm sick of this mess. I'm, I'm really sick of it. I'm sick of all this foolishness. So let me wait for some people to come on. And while y'all waiting, I'm going to, you know, sanitize my hands. You got to stay clean because this coronavirus is going around. So make sure you always use your hand sanitizer. You know, people uh, uh, were supposed to uh, uh, be clean in their hands before this virus. So, yeah. Okay. I'm really getting pissed off, y'all. So, since ladies are first, I want to talk about Chrissy Teigen, John Legend's wife. This woman is a disgusting, foul, filthy mouth woman. Seriously. She has a foul mouth. So, she decided to get on Twitter and attack our classy and beautiful first lady, Melania Trump. Now, I don't know what made this hater get on Twitter and attack her, but she called Melania Trump a wife bot, and then she said, F you to Melania. Chrissy Teigen, if you listening, matter of fact, somebody share this video. Share this video right now and tag Chrissy Teigen. I have a message for you, Chrissy Teigen. Don't you ever, don't you ever put Melania's name in your mouth again. Don't you ever put Melania's Trump name in your mouth again at all. Matter of fact, any name that start with an M, don't put it in your mouth. Talking about F Melania. Have you lost your mind? And then Chrissy Teigen claims that little girls look up to her. So Chrissy Teigen, if little girls look up to you, why are you on Twitter foul-mouthing Melania Trump? Why are you on Twitter talking crazy and cussing out the First Lady of the United States of America? Why? That's what I want to know. Let, let me know, Chrissy Teigen. How is this helping the situation? How is this helping the crisis that is going on right now? That's what I really want to know. I am very confused about how attacking Melania Trump is helping out the corona situation. Can somebody let me know how is that helping out the problem? Because it's not helping out the problem at all. Not one bit. John Legend, I need you to do me a favor. Take your wife's phone and throw it in the trash. She don't need to be on Twitter. She don't need to be on social media attacking the first lady. Take your wife's phone and throw it in the trash. Chrissy Teigen, you know what you should be doing dur during this quarantine uh, 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 time? Do you know what you should be doing? You shouldn't be on Twitter. You should be focused on your children. You should be focused on your family. During this time of quarantine, you should have your butt in the kitchen cooking for your family, not on Twitter attacking the first lady. Okay? That's what you should be doing. Get your butt in the kitchen and clean up. Go wash some dishes. Clean up the house. You know? Go read a book. Do something. Besides worried about Melania Trump. And you know what, Chrissy Teigen? You, had, you have had too much surgery in the first place, okay? Too much plastic surgery. Melania Trump is way older than you. And she looks way better than you. And I think you are simply jealous of Melania Trump. She is a classy and a beautiful woman. And you're mad because she is a supermodel and you are a super stuffed animal. Yes, I said it. Leave Melania Trump alone. And while we are talking about Melania Trump, if y'all don't know, there's a guy named Rick Wilson, one of CNN's favorite guests. So this childish man, this third grader child, this he's like a, this man acts like he's, I mean, I know third graders that have more sense than Rick Wilson. Rick Wilson posted on Twitter to Melania Trump. And I don't understand 
Why people keep coming for Melania? Why? Why? He got on Twitter. Y'all not going to believe this. Y'all not going to believe this. Y'all make sure y'all share this video because I want everybody to get the message, okay? Share this video right now because you know how Facebook play games. So check this out. Rick Wilson told, tweeted out for Melania, he was hoping that Melania is infected by the virus. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Rick Wilson. This man got on Twitter and said he hopes Melania is infected with the virus. You have to be kidding me. Why would you wish that on somebody? Why? Do you not know how sick that is? Why would you wish that on somebody? I would not wish that on my worst enemy. And these are the same people that claim to be tolerant. These are the same people that claim to be all about love and respect. Wishing somebody catches a deadly virus is not love. Where the love at? I don't see the love. Where is the love at? Because I don't see it. Why would you wish that on somebody? CNN didn't say nothing about it. CNN didn't say nothing about it. Let, let a Republican, let a conservative or a Trump supporter get on Twitter and say they wish somebody on the other side catches a virus. I guarantee you it'll be on the news every single day. You wouldn't hear the last of it. You wouldn't hear the end of it. Rick Wilson is a sick, disgusting man. Don't you ever wish that on the first lady of the United States of America. Have some dang respect for the first lady. All these people attacking her. And hold on, let, let's go back to Chrissy Teigen real quick. Chrissy Teigen wanted to know what is Melania doing for the American people during this crisis. Chrissy Teigen, what are you doing with your millions of dollars, huh? What are you doing for the American people? Don't worry about what Melania is doing because she's always doing her part. Worry about what you need to be doing for the people. How about you give back? You've been blessed with millions of dollars. So how about you help some people out, Chrissy Teigen? How about you and John Legend help out some people since y'all want to worry about Melania Trump? Why don't you do something besides getting on Twitter, hating on the first lady? And you know what, everybody? I want everybody to check this out, okay? Chrissy Teigen has a deal with Target, okay? So this, I need y'all to share this video because I want Target to see this video and I want Chrissy Teigen and John Legend to, to get my message. So hit share, okay? Listen here, Target. Are y'all going to allow, are y'all going to still work with a woman that is supposed to be a role model for all girls around the world? Are y'all still going to work with her after she got on Twitter and called the first lady of the United States of America names and told her F you, called her all kind of names and cursed her out? Are y'all going to allow that? Target, you should not be working with a trashy woman like that. That is a trash act. To get on Twitter and to trash the first lady that is very trashy of Chrissy Teigen. <sighs> Give me a second, y'all, because I'm telling you, these people, they gonna make me go crazy. They gonna make me go crazy for real. Now, let's talk about Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy Kimmel got on TV and called the president a racist. This is not the time, Jimmy Kimmel. I need Jimmy Kimmel to, somebody tag Jimmy Kimmel and tell him to tune in. Jimmy Kimmel, listen to me. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Jimmy Kimmel. This is not the time to be playing the race card. 
This is not the time to be playing the race car, Jimmy Kimmel. Why are you bringing up race during a crisis? Seriously, why are you bringing up race during a crisis? Stop trying to divide the American people during this crisis. This is a time that we all should be uniting, not fighting. We shouldn't be fighting right now, y'all. We got one enemy. And that's the coronavirus, the China virus. The only thing we should be fighting is the virus, not each other. But you know what's sick is that these loony liberals, these crazy Democrats, they can't get past their feelings. They can't put their feelings to the side and unite with us because they are so full of freaking hate. They are so full of hate. They hate the president and they can't put that to the side for one second. All I ask is for you loony liberals is to put your hate and your sensitive feelings to the side for one moment and come together so we can fight this Corona China virus. This is a time that we should be uniting. This virus don't see color. This coronavirus, it don't see politics. It don't, it don't know if you are a Republican or a Democrat. No, no, no. This virus is here to attack us all. This virus is here to attack you and you and you and you. It don't see color. It don't see uh, if you, it, it, it don't see uh, uh, parties. So why are we fighting each other at this time when we should be trying to figure out how to help each other, how to be here for each other during this crisis? I need everybody to please do me a favor. Please do me a favor. S stop watching CNN. Stop watching MSNBC. Stop watching Jimmy Kimmel. Stop listening to Christy Teigen. Stop watching uh, 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 the horrible people, the news anchors from Com Comcast, Comcast. Stop listening, guys. These people are trying to divide us. During a time that we should be united, can we? I need everybody to quarantine themselves from watching CNN. Quarantine yourself from watching the mainstream media, okay? Now, see, I trust America's, uh, I trust America Voice News, okay? I trust them. But CNN, they got to go. This is the wrong time to be playing the race card. All these people are playing the race card because President Trump called it the Chinese virus. Calling it the Chinese virus is not racist. How is that racist? How? How is calling it the Chinese? It came from China. It didn't come from Compton, California, which I want us to call it. It came from China. So it's the Chinese virus. You remember they called the flu, the Spanish flu? You remember the German uh, uh, measles? It came from China. So it's the Chinese virus. That's not racist. Come on now. Which I want us to call it. The, the dang Chicago virus, it didn't come from it didn't come from Chicago or Compton. So what else do we call it? We call it where it came from. But we need to stop. People need to stop attacking the president with this bull crap. This is the wrong time to be attacking the president. This man is doing everything he can do to protect us from this virus. Do you think Trump is happy about this? President Trump ain't happy about this. He's the president of the United States of America. So you know he's stressed out. This man is losing sleep. People are, listen, people are not, people can't work. People are getting sick. Some people don't lost their jobs. President Trump does, President, President Trump is making sure that nobody is, uh, is evicted. Until the end of April, he, he, he want to make sure nobody gets evicted. He's holding off on evictions and foreclosures 
because people can't pay their rent because they done lost their jobs. They can't go to work. They have to quarantine. You damn, you are darn right. This president is stressed out about this because he loves us. He cares about the American people. He is here to protect us. So yes, he's stressed out because he, President Trump is keeping America great. I mean, come on now. That's why he ran to keep us great, to keep this country great. So do you think he's happy about all this stuff that's going on? No, he's trying to fix it. So this is not the time to be attacking the man that is trying to help you. Let me say it one more time. This is not the time to be attacking the man that is here to protect you. This is not the time to attack the man that is trying to protect you from this virus. It's not the time. Seriously, y'all, put that bull crap to the side and stop attacking President Donald J. Trump and his wife, the First Lady Melania Trump. It is not helping the situation. It's not helping at all. President Trump didn't start this virus. He didn't start this virus. He didn't create the virus. So why are y'all attacking him? Why? I'll wait. Let me know. Why? I'll wait. Why are y'all attacking him when he not the one who started this mess? Why not? Why are y'all attacking him? And don't say, hold on, we're... Give me one minute here. I don't want to hear one word. I don't want to hear this. Don't say that, oh, he should have done something earlier. China lied. China lied to us. If China didn't lie, President Trump could have done way more earlier. But China lied. China lied, and now people have died. I'm pissed off with China right now. I am pissed off with China. I'm pissed off. China lies. So now we have American people that are suffering right now because of you, China. American people have lost their jobs because China lied. American people are out scavenging for food because China lied. People out here fighting for, for tissue. Because China lied. People are freaking fighting over tissue in America. I never in my life thought that I would see people fighting over tissue. Because China lied. And now people are panicking. Jobs are shut down. I'm pissed the hell off. That my people, our people, the American people have lost their jobs because another, because the Chinese government lied to us. People got to feed their children, y'all. People got to feed their children. People are living check to check and they have to be at home. People cannot afford that. But thank God the president is working on a stimulus package to give people money. People have already been living check to check trying to take care of their family to keep a roof over their head. And because China lied, our family, y'all, the American people, we are all family. The people that live next door to you, that's your family. The people that live down the street from you, that's your brother and your sister. We are all Americans. So everybody should be pissed the hell off about what is going on. People should be pissed off that China lied and they need to be held accountable. Stop attacking Trump. If you got something bad you want to say, Go talk to the Chinese government. Don't bring that crap to President Trump. He's on our side. People. 
If you got anything you want to do, anything you want to say, do something meaningful. Help somebody. Don't attack the president. Help somebody. Seriously, y'all. Seriously, help somebody. I need everybody to share this video because I want this message in everybody's news feed. We need to help each other, not fight each other. We don't need to talk crap about the president. We need to thank the president. God bless y'all, everybody. That's all I wanted to say. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. God bless everybody. Everybody stay safe. Wash your hands. Don't shake hands. Clean up after yourself. Stay home if you can. And, 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 and let's kill this virus and not each other. God bless.